Say hello to Iron Man RM, my Iron Man shop. After reaching every late game goal on my main after over a year and a half of play and thousands of hours, it was time to up the ante, a Shop Titans account unlike any other. The rules are simple. Absolutely no access to market whatsoever. Gems can only be used to rush furniture or open chests. No unlocking anything with gems, I must wait to unlock at certain levels with gold. No joining a guild unless I am in the top half of players and vests. And lastly, I will have access to Royal Merchant and the Academy so I can create runestones for enchantments and repair the gear that I will inevitably need to craft for my own heroes. I do not know what lies ahead but I am so excited for a brand new challenge with obstacles to overcome. I hope you are too. Let's go. Hey, welcome to episode 8 of the Iron Man RM series. I can't believe we are this far already. 1.26 billion net worth, 600 million invest still. Tower of Titans has just started here on day 57 of the account and we're about to finish floor 13. Let's do that now. Beautiful. 23 more items. Crazy, or 22. So, tower has been pretty easy so far. Not too sure how far that we'll get, but I haven't had to use power boosters or anything. I'm really hoping for floor 24, but we'll see how that goes. Heroes have been doing pretty well, though. If you look at my inventory, we just finished stream, and we have a ton of items to sell through. And obviously that's going to take a long time, but our get, our gold is going to climb very quickly when we've got time to sell all through all of this stuff. And so for the next little bit here, I'm just going to keep saving gold. We're at 180 million now. Haven't invested for a little while, but we're going to keep saving. The next big goal on the account is going to be rushing furniture. We're going to VPN here in the next couple of days when I've got some time to do it with some guild members so that they can help me with rushing furniture as quickly as possible. And so we're probably going to spend a good 200, 250 million on upgrades and tons of gems, try to get closer to 2000 energy, which will make it obviously a lot easier to sell through everything. In terms of crafting, we're just crafting enchantments right now just to um, enchant all the items that we have to sell and then after that we'll be back to just crossbow to enchantments and runestones. It's been going pretty well so far. That's really been our only focus at this point in time and so a lot of our goals that we had before are now completed and so we'll just be focusing on making gold, getting some upgrades done and moving towards the level 60 uh, big milestone where we'll get another expand and there will be a lot more things to talk about when that comes up which I'm really excited for but of course we'll talk about those things closer to. So I'll see you guys close to when the tower is done, show you how far that we've got, and uh, excited to show you all the progress when we do end up rushing furniture. So, I'll see you then. Well, here we are at the end of our Tower of Titans run for this month. We're at floor 24, and even if we use our best team with the highest power booster, we've got one orange face and the rest all red. Everything up to this point hasn't actually been super difficult, so I'm hoping that we're actually gonna be able to get this thing done. So there's our first try. Uh, we're going to wait that thing out for an hour and I'll show you what the result is, but check this out. If you look at our inventory, we are full almost. We're only 20 items away. I actually missed some items and then I got rid of like a ton of our fodder items. So we pretty much have like no fodder if you go all the way to the end here. Like there's pretty much nothing for the tier ones and everything else. Like we would, I'd say we have over 300 items that are tier eight and above just like super valuable items even that I haven't had the chance to enchant and so likely I'm just going to be selling through our enchanted items and then slowly trying to just craft enchantments while selling through all this and of course make as much gold as possible in the next few days here so yeah I'm pretty excited for the next few days I think there's going to be some massive progress so I'll see you when that quest is finally done all right there we go our hour is up one second so three red faces, one orange. I'm just really hoping that this finishes. We did sell through 30 mil in the last hour, which is amazing. And we have lots of capacity. We're at 478. I know you can't see that, but 478 out of 590. So we have 100. So fingers crossed that this gets completed. We get 60 shards and a bunch of items, uh, but no promises. So here we go. That's a big hit. So he can't miss in the first three rounds. Okay, so we went. He 
He's going for Argon, which has way more health than everybody else, so I can't complain about that. Nobody's dead yet. One death. Two deaths. Yes, the crits. Let's go. One health on... Oh my god. No, 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 no. He had one health. Did you guys see that? One health. Oh my gosh. No way. One health after missing. <laughs> okay, I didn't get great items, but still. We got our 60 shards. Oh my gosh. That is so awesome. <laughs> I actually cannot believe that that just happened. Okay, well, time to keep crafting enchants. Enchant as many of these items as I can. Sell through everything. And uh, let's get some of these gems spent when we rush some furniture. So, so good. Alright, well, it's game time for Russian furniture. I'm excited. Let's do this thing. I decided I'm going to spend 62 million getting the counter to level 11, so that'll be completed. I might do one more upgrade on each, each of my chests just to increase the storage there, and then likely everything else will be for energy. We'll see. I might try to get a lot of these to level 11 as well, increase the storage there, and just kind of get them bigger. Uh, so let's do this thing. I'm pumped. Okay, we're done. Look at this. Oh my goodness. We hit 2k energy. We ran out of gold. We almost ran out of gems completely. We've got level 11 stuff. I didn't go for chests just because I wanted to go for strictly energy, but that is insane. We just blew through over 200 mil, 230 mil or whatever it was, and over 2k gems, but look at that. That is insane. <laughs> Finally hit level 56, which is really exciting. Hit over 1.5 billion uh, net worth. I've invested 140 something million since last time I recorded, like a couple of days ago. So I've just been pumping that out and um, our energy is well over 2000 now. So pretty exciting, looking good. Let's sell through the rest of this stuff and uh, get ever closer to that level 60. Let's go. Well, month two is officially over. VIP subscription done. So if we go to Royal, officially month two on the account is done as of this morning. So I'm going to obviously get our third month right now. But if we look at stats after two months, hit 850 million invest and 1.6 billion net. Wow, we just finished a huge stream, four and a half hours, super fun. Check it out. One billion invested. Huge. I saved up for a few days, all of my enchants and uh, all of my big items so that we could do it during the Hegel event that just started a few hours ago. But we got her done. One billion invest, no money left, and basically no expensive items left whatsoever. And so that is now done that was a huge goal of mine that i wanted to complete and now that it's done um i can now kind of set my sights on something different and so we've got three and a half levels to go until we hit level 60 and there's a couple things that we need to save for so our shop expand is 200 million our next crafting slot is 10 million 
our next quest slot is 50 million. So that's 260 million total. We also are going to want to get three more hero slots. So this one's 75, the next one's 100, the next one's 150. So that's 225 mil total. So that brings the grand total, hopefully by level 60, to 400 and 85 million gold and so now that we have some space in guild we with 1 billion times 18 members that's 18 billion gold and we're at 12.8 so we've got lots of breathing room now for the next while i'm probably going to be continuing to do this when i just want to make money um i'll probably begin to craft some tier sevens just to begin mastering those and unlocking tier eights or having the ability to unlock tier eights and kind of go from there. I think the next three and a half levels will be a little bit of coasting, making money, crafting some tier sevens for mastering, but not a whole lot. And then making some really major decisions and unlocks when we get closer to level 60. So really looking forward to that. Hit a huge milestone tonight. Very, very happy about that. And looking forward to the planning and optimization that's going to come when we hit level 60. We get our final shop expand before our final run towards level 75 when this account will complete. So very happy and I'll see you very soon. Well, I just finished a lengthy eight and a half hour stream. And uh, today was the big announcement day of us having a baby. So super exciting. And uh, I'm a little tired and my voice is starting to go. But anyway, we're at 1.9 billion net and 1 billion invest. Uh, we got another basement upgrade done. We rushed a bunch of uh, upgrades for our bins. So we got level 12 tier one bins and working on level eight of the tier two bins. So getting that done, going to do a little bit more storage. Obviously a lot of these are now level 11. So super happy there. And then obviously we'll be saving up our 500 mil for all of our slots and heroes, um, for when we hit level 60 also switch things up a little bit, um, working on doing tier sevens. So I think the plan is to just get the tier eight unlockable and the value increase done on as many of these tier sevens or probably all of them. So at least once level 60 hits, then I think it makes sense at that point to kind of switch over and do tier eights, tier nines, put out our tier three um, bins and stuff. So in the meantime, I'll be prepping all of these tier sevens so that at least I can unlock the tier eights, have as many blueprint scrolls as possible and kind of hit the ground running there. So we'll be working on that. I don't think I'm going to be doing strictly my money making rotation for now. And we'll go from there. Another thing I need to decide is whether or not I'm going to hit level 58. There's still about two and a half weeks to go until Tower of Titans. So I don't know if I want to wait you know, a full two and a half weeks to get this level, I might get it like to 95% and then just save like, you know, 300, 400 enchants and then just get like a full 600 inventory of super valuable items, uh, double enchanted and then kind of be able to start tower, be able to do 26 floors of tower or 27 floors of tower get all of those items um, and then be able to sell through like a full 600 inventory plus 300 enchants and just kind of like hit level 60 in one run. I don't really know. So kind of going to play that by ear. If we're able to get level 58, like a week and a half early, then probably won't end up doing that. But if I'm able to, then I'll probably do that. So kind of see how that all plays out. That's also going to be right around when tier 11 drops. So maybe making a little switch over to my main for some time. So really hard to say, but that's basically where we're at what we're looking to and i think next episode i'll take some time to explain my logic when it gets close to that level 60 and what uh, gameplay is going to look like what our end game goals are going to be for this account and how we're going to get there as efficiently as possible so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this one and uh, talk to you all soon peace out